Welcome to the finale of Doom 2016. Back to hell, back to the well. Let's close this portal and save Mars. And all of mankind, possibly. This is also what Doom Guy says when he opens his eyes here. Well. <laughs> More of this, huh? So I have 33 tokens to use still. So let's just upgrade all the shit I never use. The heat blast really isn't bad. It's what I mostly use throughout my first playthrough. You're one off. Damn it. That is the last upgrade I need. <laughs> I think. Yes, it is. I believe I've mentioned before, I'm not going to be going for the mastery for every weapon. That just takes too much playing outside of my comfort zone for my liking. Super tedious. All right, this place is called Argent Denur. From my understanding, it's somewhat of a hell capital city. It's named Argent, but nothing here is silver. I feel ripped off. Yeah, so in that case, the UAC didn't come up with that name. It is hell original, so I'm wondering why it is called Argent then, if that's what it means. It's, yeah, an archaic term for silver. All right, starting you off with some fun berserking. <laughs> I love how you just land on him. He explodes into a bajillion pieces. I'm so glad you found this right away for once. Oh, yes. <laughs> Did you punch that one off balance? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Berserk is so satisfying. It is beautiful. I like that the revenants are the dorks of the demons. They very much are. They're pathetic. <laughs> like they're at their most intimidating in Doom 2 and they just go downhill from there. Even then they're so goofy in that game. They're just a lot more powerful. And they get even goofier in the next game. Very much. I mean, they're fucking like Eminem or Reese's Pieces eyes. No, I was more referring to the meme skin. Nah. Do you mean to do the glory kills in the pauses in the music? I don't mean to, no. This game just has such a good rhythm to it that sometimes you get sucked into the music without even realizing it. Yeah, both this and the next game just have a very good flow to the combat. So this is a very sneaky point of no return. You drop down that cliff to my right, uh, you can't get back up, and I, at one point I missed a secret, so <laughs> I uh, this is like my second attempt to record this. I missed the secret here. It's a very easy to miss one. Yeah. Everyone behind me can go fuck themselves. See you later. Still going. There we go. <laughs> Around here, it's also easy to miss, is the map. Okay, yeah, that's basic ass enemies. What is it, like the possessed or something? I always just do one punch and then another punch to glory kill. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I didn't do that in this playthrough, because that's very possible. It is like 100% the easiest way to deal with them and get a glory kill out of it. Yeah, and you save all your ammo, too. I guess I just kind of forgot when I was playing through it this time. Please stop gargling. It's very rude and gross. All right, this was your last chance, buddy. Fuck you. Mr. Cacodemon, save that for your ASMR. God damn it. Caco YouTubers? Caco tubers, yeah. Yeah. It's like VTubers, but a caca demon. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it, we spent a millennia climbing this mountain. There we go. 
Got all the upgrades now. God, the super shotgun is just so easy to max out. It's nice. I know. Doesn't need any upgrades. Any weapon mods, I mean. And Praetor suit is now fully upgraded as well. It looks like there are just enough Praetor tokens in the game to fully max out your suit. Yep. Unlike with the the weapon mod upgrades where you're... I've got them all and I still have... Not only do I still have more left over now, but I still have four more to earn. Did you cap out the pistol? Uh, yes. Okay. So this level is mostly consists of three particular fights. Here's the first one. And these fights get really hectic. Yeah, this one is, is rough. But hey, look, quad damage. I'll get it. Don't worry. Don't panic. Oh, I get it really early, so. Also, if you didn't get it, I would have just made fun of you. So it's fine. I win either way. And panicked. Don't worry, there's more BFG ammo up here. Here. Rear here. Yeah, so I think this is Rip and Tear. Which is a good fucking track. I love just giving the pinkies some time to think before I blast him in the ass. <laughs> that guy had some sinus troubles. <laughs> Sounds like me once a week lately. Die! What the hell? <laughs> Sounds like me all the fucking time. Let me tell you about how much ragweed fucks my day up. The song gives me an early Mastodon vibe. No, there's a pause in the music every time you do a glory kill. That's what's happening. Oh. Oh, right. Well, it's weird. It's not every time. Sometimes the music just gets really quiet when you do a glory kill. Doesn't happen every time. I don't know why. It's a nice touch. I don't like it. It sounds very unnatural. I don't know. It sounded pretty smooth the few times I noticed it. You're my new chair. Consume orb. Go away. So yes, that is our goal, is to destroy the three wraiths with the crucible blade. Also, that switch opens up a wall way the hell over here. Over to the right. This is where that switch opens up. Leads to some items, a secret area, as well as our switch for our final secret uh, classic level. Yeah, I think I missed this just because I, I don't care anymore. Like, this is the point where I just want the game over with. Ooh, neat. This is Pandemonium. My bad from earlier. His bad, too. I died before I can grow my third dimension. Must not be allowed to that was the other way to go, if you didn't get that secret, I believe. So there's nothing over there. All right, going to start getting a lot more cramped in here now. Man, I, I wonder what the person who has that voice looks like. Do you think they're cute? Are they a snack? <laughs> <laughs> what, the giant demon man? Maybe. I'm a meal. <laughs> I actually almost have the uh, rich get richer mastery now. I just have to take some damage and then... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Took three damage, picked up three armor worth of health, and now I have infinite ammo as long as I'm over 75 armor instead of 100 before. Yep. 
It's stupidly good. Die! <laughs> <laughs> just punching him in the kidneys. <laughs> He's just standing there like, what the hell are you doing? Is you wave your fist in the air like an idiot. I don't need this yet. Can't decide. Oh yeah, big redacted gun. There, there isn't a, an achievement to kill a ton of enemies with a BFG. It's not the BRG. <laughs> That's just stupid. <laughs> what a silly name. What a dumb name. Why would they put the F there then? That's that's ridiculous. Uh, some dirt was covering up the curve and the little line. Sorry. My favorite gun, the big fun gun. <laughs> I mean, it is. The big fabulous gun. The big finger gun. Hey. Hey. <laughs> no, that's dead space. <laughs> I think it's what, Dead Space 2 that has that? I'm not familiar with the finger guns in Dead Space. There's a weapon you get for beating on the hardest difficulty that's just a giant foam finger. <laughs> and Isaac yelling bang every time he fires it. <laughs> that's pretty funny. That sounds kind of out of theme, though. Well, yes, but that's because you have to fucking bend over backwards to get it. Like, at that point, you have effectively destroyed the fucking game. You were mentioning earlier, Thorne, how you wanted them to fly away. We It's like that bullet. The camera kind of clips into the Mancubus when you shove his heart down his throat, and I think that's because I have the FOV slightly higher than default. I think that's what what's causing that, because it never happened when I was playing it on PS4. Finally, time for the Cyber Mancubus hard eating ASMR. Oh god, all of hell's getting it on ASMR. That's their punishment. They have to do it. Or would it be a mukbang? Things to think about. Like, what is a mukbang? And do I want to know? Uh. Think of it like a sort of social eating video. Oh, no. I hate eating sounds. Uh, I mean, eating sounds would be more an ASMR than a straight mukbang. A mukbang is sort of like someone eats on camera to make you feel less lonely, like you're eating your food with someone. Now I'm sad. Let's kill another wraith. Please, let's forget about this. He's so goofy. Yeah, I exist to point the way. Oh, I didn't mean your dead buddy. I meant the crucible. It is. I kind of I, I like the little shake that Doom guy gives the crucible when pulling out the blade. Just guys, I gotta I gotta give it a little shake before it's ready. Just give me a second. And that, I believe, was... Nope, there's actually one more secret, but that was our final Doom Boy. Second to final, actually. You get the last one for beating the game. Mm hmm There's a way to open that door. I just gotta find it. Here we go. Just going back to the icon of Sin, I just like the idea of, like, a Romero guy, which is, like, a little Doom guy, but with incredible hair. <laughs> There we go. I believe that is all of the secrets. Yep, God. all secrets gotten. All those extra points, ugh. Now there is one more challenge to do, and I'm almost positive it's bugged because it took me like four tries to do it. It is to kill two barons of hell with one shot. Obviously the easiest way to do that is gonna be with the BFG. And 
I don't know why. It. I, I swear I did it right all of those previous times, but it just didn't count. I looked up some, like, videos about it. They implied that you had to kill them without harming them with any other weapon so that you own that you kill them with literally one shot so that you didn't kill you didn't take any other shots on them how the fuck would you do that yeah plus i do hit them with other things in this run and it worked so i really don't know what is up with this challenge what did you kill them with though the bfg huh and i hit them with like a rocket or two beforehand we'll see it'll come up here in a second was it a direct hit with the BFG, or...? I don't remember, I don't think so. But again, we're gonna see it here soon. I probably got a little ahead of myself there. Come on, lock on! Okay, the Imp. I guess he's just gonna get fuckified right now. more incredibly t like this even when you're not trying to get the challenge this fight is very tough very hectic a lot more imps than one would think though call me the grinder because i'm about to mince that meat manager <laughs> Where'd that Revenant come from? That one always happens to me, too. Revenant just jumps up from the ground like a diglet or something. Yeah, he just appears and then jumps past you. Ooh, that little flamey bit. Okay, that was just excessive. Oh, I needed the ammo. Kinda. Yeah, like, legitimately, you're at the point in the game where it's just so hard to get glory kills. Yeah, everyone, everything dies too easily. Oh, here's one, Baron. See, I hit him, absolutely. And I was about to restart, but I was like, fuck it, I'll try anyway. And I got... And <laughs> I got it, again. I was just so lacking in hope. I was just so frustrated at this point. It's one of the few times where I got actually frustrated playing this game. Because usually it's so happy. Is it a timing thing, maybe? Uh, maybe. Maybe the BFG cells just hit them at just the right time, so they even exploded at the same time. Maybe in the older ones, they were too far apart, and they, like, exploded. Yeah, I think it may count it as different hits because of that. Yeah, that might be it, something like that. Regardless, I hate it. It's probably my least favorite <laughs> mission in the game. <laughs> oh, it's fucking jank as hell. Why did we develop the key to our own destruction? Well, that sounded lovely. Some people just cry in hell. It, it's how it be. But who is crying? Uh, that was me, I'm sorry. I still miss Vega. Alright. Let's hop into this mouth with the teeth. Well, 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 look who it is. They promised me so much. Olivia, like, well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. Well, if it isn't making a deal with hell coming back to bite me. Ooh. Look who's back! Your friend and mine. Please welcome back. The one, the only, or the second or fourth at this point. Spider Mastermind! Here we go! This fight's fucking rough. It's it's pretty awesome, though. I believe she's vulnerable to attack everywhere, but she is most weak at the brain. So you're going to want to keep pummeling her with that. 
these platforms are going to come up. There are going to be some points where she will electrify the floor, so you're going to want to go up there to avoid that. And she has a number of other attacks that are going to fuck you up. This is not an easy boss, but again, it's definitely manageable at this point. You have so much ammo and so many resources to easily take her out. See, I like using uh, mobile turret, but... Yeah, that's good too, but again, I haven't fully upgraded it, so it's not as useful as it could be. Yeah, watch out when her brain glows blue. That's when she's going to start electrifying the floor. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Yeah, the brain and the face as well. The face is also a good place to shoot. No, not the face. Her attacks are very hard to dodge, though, so you need to know very well how to manage your health and to dodge enough. See, I always aim just above. Though if you want to cheese it, I mean, there's an infamous bug in this game that was never patched out. If you turn on the weapon wheel, which I never use in this, in this LP, while the BFG tracer is firing, if it's still firing close to an enemy, it will continuously do damage to it while you have while time is slowed with the weapon wheel out. So you can annihilate her extremely easily. But where's the fun in that? Yeah, that's kind of like a physics bug in Breath of the Wild, where you can launch yourself by going into focus. Right. One cool thing, though, is that you can see her deteriorating in her both, like, abilities, her motor skills and her intelligence as you do more damage. Like, she was just going crazy there for a minute. Yeah, let's finish it off! Mm. This is just so intensely satisfying after that fight. No, no, Doom Guy, you're supposed to shoot it near her, not in her. Well, it worked. Inefficient. You've won. It's over. You stopped the invasion and closed the portal. But it's come at a price. Argent, Vega, this entire operation. You see, I've watched you work. Come to understand your motivation. You think the only way is to kill them all, leave nothing behind. And you may be right. And yeah, Scorched Earth, dude. Can't just shut it all down. Without Argent energy, it will be worse. I don't expect you to agree. But with this, we can continue our work. I am not the villain in this story. I do what I do because there is no choice. What's the sound of one man jacking off? Our time is up. I can't kill you, but I won't have you standing in our way. Whoa! How can you fucking do this to me? How can you just show me that after everything and then cut to credits? We had a sick sword the whole time and didn't use it. Very sequel baity ending, which I didn't love, but what are you going to do? It's also great because then a lot of steps are lost in between. <laughs> So there we are. That was a fucking beauty of a game. What'd you guys think? Pretty good. Quite a ride. I absolutely love the game. It's it's certainly a ride. Oh no, I absolutely love it. It is far and away one of my favorite games. It's up there for me. I really do believe it to be one of the greatest games ever made, like on an objective standpoint. It's just so well made, so continuously fun. Like some it does get repetitive near the end, I noticed, but it doesn't stop being fun. The core gameplay itself 
it feels revolutionary because there really doesn't seem to be any there wasn't at least any other games like this there was some like similar type games like Bulletstorm you can compare this to with its unique kills and stuff but I think that this one like really refined ideas like that into something wonderful yeah to be fair Bulletstorm is a lot more arcadey than this true this is just like super fast paced action and it's incredibly fun just the whole way through. I'd argue probably the reason it got tedious for you is because you were trying to do all the items, which gets really rough as you get in. Oh no, it didn't it, it didn't really get tedious for me. The only thing that was tedious was when like that last challenge wouldn't work. I've just heard other people say it gets repetitive near the end. And I, I just thought it was awesome the whole way through. Yeah, I, I I can kind of understand because it's just like nonstop fighting as you get to the end, but like yeah, it's it's fun, it's fun, so fun. I really recommend anybody try this game for themselves. It is lovely. Look at all the guns laid out just for you. Also the pistol, which is not a gun. It's it's barely even a weapon. You're dead. Good riddance. <laughs> I'm not dead. So yes, we are done with this game. But there's still one more stop on this long train of Doom LPs that's been going on for over close to a year at this point and that is of course the most recent release and we're not skipping one this time since doom 2 this is the first time we're not skipping a game doom eternal is next oh boy are you doing the dlc um oh well, yes but i'm i think i may wait until all of the dlc is out and then do it all at the same time but i am going to do the dlc even if down the line no, oh, look at the little guy. Fucker Supreme. Also this guy. He looks a lot more chiseled than he does in the hologram. Ah. Also, this is really dumb, but I love it. They recreate the cover of the original Doom. <laughs> I had to sit here. I wanted to do anything else on my computer, but I had to sit through 15 minutes of credits. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you about streaming the game and sitting through the credits. But uh, to be fair, it is listing everyone, and a lot of people worked on this game. Also, there's the Zenimax folks, too. Very much, yes. Because publishers, I guess. There are two other aspects, or three actually, other aspects of the game that I'm not showing off. The first I recorded a little bit of footage of, but I've decided against showing it. It wasn't as interesting as I remember it, uh, is arcade mode. Very fun. It takes the levels and kind of turns them into their own challenge. You get provided with certain weapons in every level, and you get points and multipliers depending on different actions you do. Like, if you continuously kill enemies or pick up items, then you will continuously build up and maintain your multiplier, and you get a score at the end. I love it. I wish that every game had a, I want to play this game, but I don't want to go through the story mode like this game does. There's also multiplayer. I don't even know if anybody still plays it. It's fine. It's just standard, like, shoot your enemies be on a team, deathmatch, capture the flag, multiplayer. It's okay. A lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was fine, I, but I still don't play it, like, hardly at all. And then there's Snap Map, where you could make your own levels with um, some somewhat restrictive tools. It never really caught on. It had a lot of potential, but it just never met that potential, and it never will, because it was not in Doom Eternal. Yeah, I mean, you could do some neat stuff with it. I know a friend of mine did, but in general, it just kind of 
nobody was here for the multiplayer snap maps. Nobody. Yeah, it, it it had a ton of potential. I would love to see a proper fleshed out level creator for modern Doom games, but I don't know if we'll ever get one. So yeah, Doom 2016 is brilliant. It consistently goes on sale on Steam for like eight bucks. The Switch port is overpriced, but I mean, if you have a Switch, that's not a bad version at all. And of course, the console versions are great, too. Whatever your Doom fix is, you'll have a good time. We'll get there one day. Doom.com. <laughs> this Doom.com, you think it's over, but no, there's more shit. Now I gotta play a Flash game before Flash ends. And Flash might... In fact, Flash will be over when this video gets uploaded. No! I mean, it's fine. There's gonna be third-party Flash support, but yeah. I know a bunch of folks have been working on some sort of replacement, like Newgrounds. Yeah, that's... That was Doom 2016. I think I've said my piece. It was a good game. See y'all next week for Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal Let's Plays. They will never end until this one does. Rip and tear until it eventually ends. 